Within the universe of professional wrestling, Deathmatch is the often maligned stepchild. Criticized for being a vulgar and unnecessary preoccupation for sick fans and untalented wrestlers, it rarely breaks out of the underground. Yet Deathmatch has endured for decades. I'm curious to learn why wrestlers continue to evolve this style, far from the spectacle and fame of the main stage. What do you think sets apart a Deathmatch fan from just any other fan of wrestling? It's an ultimate <laughs> you. <laughs> you to, to the establishment. To conventional wrestling or conventional society, we've created our own genre. So you said we there. What is the group that you're speaking for when you say we? The wrestlers. It's that connection that, that I feel with them. Now, I know they're a different breed than I am, but they kind of look like me. I could say, hey, maybe I can do it. Non-deathmatch wrestlers rarely decide to do deathmatches. It's even rarer for a wrestler like Shane Strickland, one of the biggest talents in indie wrestling, to get in on the ultra-violence. I gotta ask you why you're doing this to yourself, Shane. Because people don't expect me to. I wanted to always show that I can do a little bit of everything. In this new generation, we've been around the world, we have experience in all aspects of styles of wrestling. We're the hybrid. We can do everything. There's nothing we can't do. gonna hurt Shane's career by doing this? Is other companies gonna look down on him? I don't think it does. If anything, it makes him just come off the most rounded wrestler on the scene today. I'm afraid he's gonna hit that the, one. The, the, yeah. Unexpected. Easy, 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 easy.